Tim Finn saying something about if it's not useless, then I die. Birth, life, and death, really. The, I, I bring something to life, and then its life is over. And at the end of the f end of three, four hours, it wants to go. It's worn out. It's lost its freshness, and it just wants to be replaced, um, gifted, and goes to the sea. I've done six hundred and ninety-seven works in nine years. Like all of us, you know, we draw on the sand, we scribble on the sand, and it's just taking it further and giving it a, a um, more intense a concentration and focus. The Brighton sand is perfect to work on because of the contrast. It's volcanic sand, so it's got a dark underbelly. I've had this stuff for 18 years, so I'm really connected to it, and it relates to the pencil. And the rake is like a brush. And the power shells symbolise inner beauty. The sand is perfect. Spring loaded. Heaps of texture. Soft and hard. When I know it's going to be a lover's work, the lovers are what I start on. I don't know what they're going to be saying, but it is influenced by how I am during the day or the night or the week before and it comes through on the work. And when I'm down there, and as I'm beginning, I'm using a mantra and trusting in its guidance, trusting in its um, freedom to guide me in the right places. And with the right, uh, uh, staying with a simple one theme artwork, because it has to, you can't get too complex. There's only three hours. It's gotta be done in that time. You can't hesitate, you can't fall around. And as soon as you lose the symmetry, it's gone. If anything was happening on the sand, people would gather. And I'm only just so happy that it's me that they gather for. I think it's absolutely amazing. I think he's just phenomenal. You don't get the perspective on the ground, but really up here, it's amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. And down here, it's been fantastic fun being able to share my art with uh, people who are in the window of opportunity at the time, you know, because there's only four hours. And that might do. <laughs> Here she comes now. The gift is being received. I love the kiss of the ocean. It's, there's no uh, sadness to it, it's all joy. And the outbrush of emotion can be fantastic. When the tide's out, I'm in, I'm on. Uh, when it's in, I'm off. High tide is the downtime, and it's really good to contemplate up here, looking at it a bit from above, as the spectators might. But it's good, it's a great contemplation place up here. I think tomorrow should be good because there's four hours here to play with, and so it'll be a good size and good content.
Because there's a time limit, something has to happen. So you've got to, no matter what, I'm going to do something. And I don't necessarily know what it is at all. I don't know what it is yet, what it's going to be. And when the moment comes when, I'm, you know, it's, it reaches a point of, um, reaches a point of uh, s s some sense of sol uh, completion of the line, and then the work. to be detailed and um, do more complex works. And so that weather element um, and the, how, how, how early or late I might be getting, that makes a big difference. I do have an intention to create a woman's face. But that doesn't necessarily have to happen because it might not, I might not be capable at that moment of pulling it off. And so if it transforms and change, I'll, I'll go with that. But I'll, yeah, I intend to have a woman's face there looking at us on the pier. the best ever I've seen the sand. Just magnificent. No wind, beautiful sunrises. Ah, oh, it's great. Yeah, and I feel so good. <laughs> Receiving has been a big part of it and learning lessons in that. But it's also good to see the finished work. It's fantastic to see the finished work. But it's the whole, it's the sharing. Sharing of art, really. Sharing of creativity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 